Okay, we're going to talk about uh, more mechanical aptitude principles uh, with different devices, different uh, simple machines you should uh, be concerned about. Uh, the one we're going to talk about right now are incline, inclined planes. So, you know, if you were thinking about an inclined plan, plane, just think about uh, you know basically simply a ramp that is used to make uh, you know lifting objects make lifting objects easier. You know, kind of the same sort of thing you put a piece of board to the back of a pickup truck or something or back of a moving van just so you could roll the object or push the object up the uh, ramp a little easier. So the effort required to lift an object is going to decrease the longer the inclined plane is and the shorter the height the shorter the height is obviously. So if you look at these options here for inclined planes you have A, B, C and D. You know, A would obviously take a lot more effort to push the, uh, you know, the, the barrel up on top of this device. But in B, because it's a longer inclined plane, it's going to decrease the amount of uh, effort that's required. Okay, so the, the longer the inclined plane, typically the less effort's required to lift the object. You know, if you look at options C and D, you know, obviously the greater the height, the, the taller the, uh, the lift that you have to actually uh, you know, use, uh, the, the more effort is going to be required. So it's going to take a lot more effort to lift the object in uh, example D here than it would in example C because of the, uh, the height difference here, obviously. So you know, the longer the inclined plane, the less effort is required, and the, the greater the height, uh, the more effort is going to be required to lift and move objects. There is a mathematical formula that, uh, you know, it's probably a good idea to memorize these things and work with them just so you're, you're familiar with them. Uh, it's, it'll help you uh, work through things faster as well. Uh, so the mechanical, uh, so the mathematical formula to calculate the amount of effort that would be required to lift an object if the height is known, the length of the inclined plane, and the weight of the object. So effort times the length of the plane equals resistance times the height. So the amount of effort uh, you're going to have to require, so the amount of... Uh, you know, if you look at this example here, the uh, object, the resistance would be 200 pounds, the length of the plane would be 8 feet, and the height would be 3 feet. So you'd have to plug these for the plug the numbers into the formula, and that will give you how much effort would be required to lift this object up to the top of the ramp. Okay, so you plug the numbers in, and so let me uh, scroll this down a little bit. Sorry about that. Plug the numbers in and it would look like this. So effort times 8 equals 200 times 3. So effort times the length of the plane here, you know, 8 comes into here, equals the resistance, 200 pounds, it moves into this equation here, times 3, which would be 3 feet. Uh, when you're doing these calculations, make sure that the, the units are consistent. So if you're measuring it in pounds or kilograms, make sure it's still measured in pounds and kilograms. If you're measuring it in feet or meters or uh, inches or centimeters, make sure it's consistent because if the uh, measurements aren't consistent, then you'll have to convert them, make sure that they're in the, the same units. So then you work out the algebraic equation, e effort equals, uh, you know, perform, treat this just like any other algebraic equation. You can review the material in our te math teaching material if you have difficulty with this. So effort would equal 200 times 3 is 600 divided by 8. You know, you bring the 8 over the other side to isolate effort. And then 600 divided by 8 would be 75 pounds. So 75 pounds of effort is required to elevate the drum. So it would take 75 pounds of effort to move a 200-pound barrel, okay? Because you're using the mechanical advantage of the inclined plane. So there's lots of questions on the site. Work through them. Be familiar with them. And, you know, I would recommend you memorize this formula. It would, it will help you out, and it's not that difficult. So effort times the length of the plane equals resistance times the height. And you might be given different... Uh, different scenarios here. You might be given something where, you know, you're given the effort. You say there's 75 pounds of uh, effort that's being used. The length of the plane is 8 feet. Uh, how much could you actually move uh, to elevate it 3 feet? So you might have to calculate the resistance. And again, you just plug the numbers into the formula, treat it like an algebraic equation, and solve it. Okay, so good luck with the studying, and let us know if you have any questions.